Good morning, folks. We begin today by looking at yet another plasma filament cresting over the northeastern limb into view. A couple solar tornadoes in the mix where the plasma interacts with the electromagnetic fields of the sun. 304 angstroms view with yellow enhanced and a high contrast. Top pop on the earth-facing disk was a smaller filament that released on the south. It's too far to the cresting limb to be geo-effective, but indeed triggered the largest flare of the day, albeit still at low levels. Sunspots have appeared heading for a trough for days, especially with the lack of magnetic complexity in the active regions, but I do spy a larger umbra entering now on the south, just barely. Solar wind in yellow, pretty normal, but we've got some slightly elevated density, and the phi is in a bit of flux, so the KP is a bit up off the floor, and the electron flux shows a bit of sensitivity to the solar wind at this time. The incoming southern negative corona hole is not so powerful in the transequatorial extension. Nevertheless, it is about Earth-facing and a minor seismic uptick may be on our doorstep. It may have already begun with an Earth spot triggered rumble as Vong Fong tracks right over top of a near six-pointer in the northern Mariana Islands. By the way, Vong Fong is strengthening quickly and after the quake gave indications that it is ready to swing north. We also took one of those near six-pointers in Chile this morning, straddling shakes in Nicaragua and Argentina. Top stories begin with a nuclear reactor problem at Hunterston 3 in Scotland. Folks, this is not good. We've got cracks in major safety components which may force a complete shutdown and closing of the plant. Details at RSOE. A bit of a, it's about dang time, is what crossed my mind when NASA became the fifth group to claim that the oceans are not warming in the deep, and haven't since about 2005. Then I began laughing a bit as they can't seem to figure out why. The actual paper involved here suggests that there is an energy imbalance that leaves them without an earthly explanation. Those at this channel know exactly what's to blame for that, don't we? Also got an animation link describing the high rap instrument for monitoring hurricanes. Pretty interesting stuff on that one. Speaking of which, Simon's Moisture enters the United States today. We know the track, and the warnings have been coming out for days. Meanwhile, back east, everything is funneling into the convergences of the big Canadian low. So besides the flood risk to the southwest states, we've got storms on the eastern edge and snow and ice coming at the western side of the low. These north Atlantic lows still refuse to deviate much. Northern Ireland saw major wind and storms in the last day. Big convergence area, and also note the slot in that same Mediterranean locations. Clouds should easily tell the tale here. And again, those are the warning zones. Down under, the focus is on an Antarctic low drawing its convergence back north to the southeastern portions of Australia. That will be our top area for weather watch tonight. Helio Viewer hasn't updated for four days, but... No worries, we're at Soho, Iris, Iswa, and SDO for shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.